Hi, in this video I want to share with you how to track your click-through and open rate for every email that you send out. Tracking the open rate of your emails and click-throughs can easily be done in your autoresponder service. So I'm going to show you in GetResponse and Aweber where to enable it. Let's say I'm creating a newsletter. I can just uh, go to Messages, Create a Newsletter. I'm just going to choose a HTML source editor. Put in just a message name, demo, subject line. Here it is, track, click, through. Now bear in mind that the open rate will only be tracked and counted for if your reader enables HTML viewing in their emails. To show you an example, here's an email that I sent out uh, through GetResponse. Here's a newsletter. You can see images are not displayed. Obviously, there's no images that I placed here, but the little pixel that's embedded to be able to track the open rate is here somewhere. So if I click on display images below, now that's now that's tracked as an open. Okay, that's counted as one. So again, here's another copy. I'm just going to click display images below. So you can see, obviously, there's no images here, but that's what uh, that's how the open rate is tracked. Only if the user enables that. And the click-through is automatically tracked because uh, they'll cloak your link, any links that are embedded in your newsletter, and then using their tracking tool. Now let me show you in Aweber how to enable the click-through and open rates. So I've created a new message by just going to Messages, Broadcast, put a subject line here, and put in some text here. So now it's in... All right, when I click next, it's going to disable sharing there. And you can see here, track clicks on website links in this message. So that's what you need to make sure you enable and that'll track uh, the click throughs. And you want to make sure you broadcast a HTML email as well, not, not a plain text. So let me just go back to the home page. So in this section, this button here, I'm going to select code your own HTML. So it needs to be HTML format rather than text, plain text format, otherwise it won't track. That's in Aweber. Now in get response, let's go back to the home page. So I'm going to go to messages, create newsletter. And I'm just going to choose the basic HTML source editor. There is a way to use plain text, but uh, you know, for the purpose of this video, HTML is what you want if you want to track opens and click-throughs. There are alternatives, but in order to track uh, the opens, you need to use the one that the service provides you. But there's a way to track clicks using third-party tools such as uh, Bitly and all these other link shortening and cloaking services. You can check out viralurl.com as well. Or, you know, you can use a free service like bit.ly, bit, uh, B-I-T dot L-Y. However, you need to be careful with using these cloaking tools because some of the domains and IPs that they use are blacklisted because you're getting millions, thousands or millions of people using their service as a tracking uh, tool. And at the end of the day, you know, people can report it and blacklist it in the end. So that's one thing to be mindful of when using uh, third-party software because, uh, because of this blacklist issue. So that's how to track your open and click-through rate.